Hey, it's me, Damien from Sosis. Today I'm breaking down To Kelly Lee. To Kelly Lee is our most popular song, which makes me really happy actually because it's one of the songs that I'm most proud of across all projects I've been involved with. So I wrote this while doing my study abroad uh -huh. pretentious, in Florence, Italy, while I was a senior at UC Davis. I would spend a lot of time in the city walking around, looking at these like old bronze statues and um, walking around Boboli Gardens, which is like the Medici Palace Gardens. I kind of had all of these ideas in my head swirling of like ancient artifacts. And, uh, and as some of you fans might know, I'm historically like a big fan of weird fiction. Not so much H.P. Lovecraft anymore, but at the time I was reading a lot of Lovecraft so I wanted to write a song that was kind of rooted in this idea of ordinary people stumbling on these sort of like ancient horrors. That's where we begin. Please don't leave, believe in me. I will not lie among the artifacts within the sacristy. But I actually didn't quite remember what the word sacristy meant, but I knew it was like a really pretty rhyme and that it kind of embodied this ancient feeling that I wanted to uh, uh, imbue the song with. Once I got that second line, I kind of ran with it and the story started to, to take shape. And I imagine it's about these two archeologists who are in some faraway land and they're in love. And one of them has kind of discovered through transcribing these runes or these ancient texts that there's like this impending apocalypse scenario. Now that we have this information, we know that we're going to die and like humanity is going to die and the earth is going to be laid waste. What do we do with these last moments? And, and the speaker kind of uses this as an opportunity to profess their love. We kind of begin with this swirling sort of like open chord. Songs in E major. So we're left with these open strings, E and uh, B. We end up with uh, the, the B ringing out there. And then on every other chord, it has that open E ringing on top. And that just comes from the Midwest emo influence where like, I don't think I knew this at the time, but that sound, a lot of it comes from these open strings uh, kind of like pedaling under or over uh, the chords as they move. Gather yourself, I need you calm and collected. Details like hold your head high like the minarets. You begin to picture the environment. I know that you're scared of the local lore, but we've conquered worse before. And I think a line like this about local lore and soothsayers, it lends more context and more like weight to the story because it's a, it's a short song. It's only like three minutes and it's not like there's a ton of lyrics. So we want to leave little Easter eggs throughout the whole thing so that the listener can, can kind of craft the story in their mind without us having to say too much. It's not like musical theater. We don't get to just explain what's happening. It's other little instrumental interludes that I think are great spacing between moments of story, like... <laughs> One thing I really like about this song and about Sosa's songs in general is they don't necessarily follow a verse chorus verse structure. And this one to me feels especially exemplary of that working to the fullest extent possible where every little vignette, every little moment in the song has a fully embodied identity and every moment feels like a moment as, and and lends itself to the story. If the ground opens up to swallow the love that we've built. The speaker has ceased to assuage the fears and anxieties of his lover. You know, all of the faults of this relationship and all of our, our the pettiness, like it can't stand the test of time and, and what really is lasting and what really matters um, it are, are the pure and like beautiful moments of this of this relationship and this story. And, and then there's kind of this these cool like swampy chords. I don't know why swampy is always how this makes me feel. It always feels very like, like a strumming a banjo. It's all for naught, the world's gone to pot And there's no heaven waiting on me But when I 
I'm down where it's warm Would you still call me yours? I think I'd still like to be The ground's opening up and we get these big explosive moments in the drums and in the band that are kind of symbolizing this like cataclysm. And and here we are with these two lovers uh, center stage. And rather than being like, I'll always love you forever. I'll see you on the other side. He's basically saying like, it's over. You're not going to see me in heaven, but when I'm down in hell, will you still keep me in mind? The grimness and like the gravity of that ending is something that I'm just like so happy with. And it's just a more interesting story for it to end that way. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Please take a second to check out the pre-order for Second Nature, our forthcoming album set to release this fall. It's the follow-up to First Contact. And I think it's the best music we've ever made. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your continued support. Cheers.